Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing a perfume collection, but this is what I have with me um, at college. So some of the stuff you see here might overlap with my at home perfume collection that I filmed a couple months ago. And some perfumes I don't have in either collection video because obviously I go back and forth from home. So maybe I had something in my apartment while I was filming the home one and then I brought it here. So it's, um, or like whatever. Basically, it's not a comprehensive perfume collection, but I have a decent amount with me right now. So I guess, um, let me just get started then. So I'm gonna try to go in order of how I got them, but no guarantees. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, and this is usually, you can, sometimes you can see it like on that little stand over there. It's like just hanging out in like all my videos, um, if the stand is visible. But this is a super fruity version of Fantasy. It kind of gives me the vibe of like a fruity shampoo. I actually really really like it and I wore it like ex like for like two months straight just because I don't know I was just really into this scent when I first got it and I got this around the same time as I got fantasy and I definitely use it more than fantasy I think that um if I wasn't a collector I would definitely repurchase this yeah repurchase this but fantasy I like it but I wouldn't repurchase this is like a plummy purpley scent I really like it. So that's Britney Spears, Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. Okay, and then the next thing I got is actually in the little 10 ml decant um, bottle that I keep in my purse because um, I got a refill bottle of this and it is Alien Essence Absolute. I actually have an actual spray bottle of this, but um, I just got this decant before that I got that. But anyways, um, this smells great. It's like a sweet alien, kind of medicinally, kind of root beer, or not root beer, like Dr. Peppery, but I really like that. Um, you have to be careful with this though. I sprayed like three times on myself and I'm kind of suffocating myself. I like it, but maybe two sprays max on this one. So that's what I'm wearing today. It's really cold where I live right now, so. But this is from Fiance. It's like a Japanese drugstore brand. And it actually looks kind of like a lip gloss or something, but it's a gel perfume. So it's not solid, it's like a gel. And the name of this perfume is actually shampoo. But um, it kind of smells like Chloe by Chloe to me. Um, it's sweet, there's definitely some roses, but not too strong on the rose. It's just really nice. It smells like Japanese shampoo, but I know that's not a very relatable thing. So um, there's that. And now that I'm just doing like the decants and smaller perfumes, I guess I'll just go with my rollerballs I have here. I have a couple more rollerballs, but just like I said, they're either they're at home, so I don't have them with me. So let me just get organized. Sorry, my desk is super messy. Um, I got these actually the same weekend or like the same month or something. So I'll just talk about them. The first one I got is Ariana Grande Cloud. As you can see, it's not very used that much. I think I sprayed it just like once or twice just to test it out. This is a deep marshmallow scent. Of course, everybody knows that this has a strong resemblance to Baccarat Reach 540. I will say... I see the resemblance, but it's definitely not a dupe. They are different. This is a more marshmallowy, a sweeter, younger version, whereas Baccarat Rouge is more medicinal, more band-aid-y, which I don't know if I like that. I mean, I do like the scent and it lasts forever, especially when I tried it on myself and tried it on the card. It made my purse smell like Baccarat Rouge 540 forever. But um, I just, I'm not at that point where I can like spend that much money on perfume. But yeah, this is this is a great alternative. It's um it's cheaper, it's a celebrity fragrance, and it's available like everywhere instead of having to go to like a high-end department store or anything. So that's Ariana Grande Cloud. And then within that same vein of Baccarat 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 Rouge, sorry guys, Baccarat Rouge 540 um vibe fragrances, I have Burberry Her. So I actually um, sampled this before I bought it. I had sampled both Burberry Her and the Her Intense. And Burberry Her Intense definitely smells more like Baccarat Rouge than just Burberry Her, but I actually prefer this one. Out of all of the Benzoni, medicinal, whatever, whatever, Baccarat Rouge 
family of fragrances, I actually prefer her over Cloud at Rotary. This is that same family, but with a strawberry note. Very strong, fruity strawberry. Almost sharp, like a little sharp, but I like it. It's like, it reminds me of a strawberry that you would have in like a strawberry limeade. It's sparkly, and it does not have that medicinal um, note that the Her Intense has, and the, obviously the Baccarat Rouge, Inten uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 has as well. Yeah, I really like this. Obviously, I haven't used it that much because I got it around the same time as Cloud, and I'm kind of on a um, Victoria's Secret phase right now. So the next one I'll talk about, I guess, is this one. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. This was the summer 2019 flanker, I believe, and it was a kind of a small dent in there, not like huge. Um, this was kind of like half of the summer for me, uh, half of the summer of 2020. This reminds me of taking anatomy and physiology because that's the class I was taking while I was wearing this a lot. But it also reminds me of just having fun in the summer. It's, like a sun, it's definitely like a sun tanning lotion scent. Just imagine light blue with sun tan lotion -y vibes. Like that's basically what they were going for and they got exactly what they were going for. I really like it. I'm so glad I got this on such a good deal as well. It was like barely used, like actually unused, I think. It was all the way up to the top and somebody was selling it because um, they didn't like it, I guess, but. I really like the 2020 summer flanker, Love is Love, but I've yet to find it for like a price that I'm willing to pay for it. Um, but I would love to add that to my collection and then have all these glass light blue flankers sit all next to each other. So that's Light Blue Sun. All right, so the next one is Tommy Girl. I got this like last month or maybe like at the end of December. This is a grapefruit, green grapefruit scent. I mean, I already talked about this in my review, so I won't talk about too much, but this is the scent of the 90s, that aquatic green fresh phase of the 90s and early 2000s. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not like, um, I wasn't born in that era, but I could definitely, I was definitely old enough to see this like still be popular, if that makes sense. Like I, if this was popular when I was a kid, if that's what I was trying to say. So yeah, um, there's like a small dent in it. This is only a 30 ml bottle, so like it's easier to dent. But um, this was like my January fragrance, which doesn't make any sense, right? This is like a summer spring fragrance, but I was just really excited to use this. So this was my January fragrance. <laughs> The next one I have is Bombshell Gold. Yes, I picked it up. I know in my Victoria's Secret perfume video, I said that like this was the only one that I was wanting to pick up relatively soon uh, because it was one of the ones I liked the best, but also is limited edition. So I knew they weren't gonna have it for a long time. This is a lychee, sugar, like a sugary, bright lychee scent. It kind of gives citrusy vibes. I, I, I think the lychee kind of adds to that. But it's just like kind of another thing when I say fruits can be sharp, kind of like the uh, strawberry in the Burberry Herb. I'm trying not to ramble too much, but this is just really good. It doesn't really smell like bombshell to me though. It does have like that Victoria's Secret vibe of like the young, sweet, not very expensive smelling, but I really like it and who cares if I smell expensive. So yeah, that's Victoria's Secret bombshell gold. And then like I mentioned, um, I have teas. I also have a video on this. This is a pear magnolia, I think. Is it magnolia? Am I just pulling that out of my ass? I don't know. But imagine a sweeter, younger, girlier, juicy couture Viva La Juicy. I know that's already a very girly scent, I guess. But this is kind of like a little more candied. I kind of get like that candy lychee jelly, but it doesn't smell like lychee, but like the lychee jellies never really taste like lychee anyway. Um, or like a Asian hard candy, which you never know what the flavor is, but they always have them at restaurants. Mixed with pear, and that's all on top of a Viva La Juicy DNA. That's what teas is, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same um, smell slash formula as the old packaging. I just like this packaging better there's kind of a dent in there. So, I mean, it wasn't expensive, but I never go through fragrances that fast. All right, so the next one is a unicorn and everyone on YouTube kind of like got it already, 
because it's everyone's unicorn, I guess. And it is Alien Taste of Fragrance. Yes, I was signed up for the Fragrance Spy um, notifications and I got it like literally the minute I was emailed um, because I just knew that I would want this. Everyone really compares this to Alien Essence Absolute and I, I would agree they are similar, but I think they're similar just because they're sweet aliens. They're not dupes of each other. I would say like if you have one, you don't need the other unless you're like a super big alien fan, which I am. And the bottle is just gorgeous. Like I like this bottle better than the Essence Absolute one. So this is a caramel alien. Like what can I say? If you know what Essence Absolute smells like, it just take out the medicinal vibe, replace the vanilla with the caramel and you got a taste of fragrance so yeah i really love this um kind of disappointed to see all the scalpers buying like five or six of these and selling them for double triple the price on mercari um but i'm glad i got my own but oh my gosh that annoys me and last but not least this i got off my wish list i'm sure you guys can tell already because it flashed the screen um i'm not gonna try to blind you but this is l or lamb um by gwen stefani Oh my goodness. So this one is kind of hard to tell like what it smells like just from the nozzle because it has a very strong plasticky smell from just this huge cover. Like it just smells like plastic. So I will spray it. Um, I'll just spray it like this. Okay, yeah, this is a Lily of the Valley fragrance. Um, I expected a little bit more pear to be in it, um, to be honest, just because of all the reviews. Um, you get You definitely get a little bit of pear, but it's a Lily of the Valley, Valley musky fragrance. It's definitely a 2000s fragrance, if that makes sense. I like it. Um, I mean, I like Lazy Sunday Morning, which is definitely a Lily of the Valley musky fragrance as well. It also has a little bit of pear. I never, I don't really see people um, comparing this to Replica. And um, I wouldn't say it's like a dupe or anything, but they're definitely same family. Um, and I just noticed that the paint is chipping off, like, I don't know if you can see, but the paint is chipping off a little bit over here. I'm a little bit disappointed because, like, I literally just got this, like, last week, and it was in the packaging, like, cellophane and everything, but, I mean, I guess that's what you get. This is, like, a cheaper, I mean, it wasn't, like, too cheap, but it, celebrity, I guess. I don't know. I'm going on a tangent, but I like it. I'll probably make it my March or April fragrance. I don't know. Like, it depends on how I feel, so. And I, I actually really like this packaging. It's, like, super Y2K, super <laughs> 2000s. So, yeah, that's my perfume collection here in my college apartment. It's not too extensive. Um, I do have body mist and body, like, lotions that are scented and stuff, but I'm not including those because this video would be way too long. And I think... I could just make another video about those. So thanks for watching again. Um, I see that my subscriber count is like steadily going high, which is awesome. I didn't think like anybody would want to subscribe to me. So thank you so much for subscribing. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. Okay, bye.